Good evening everyone, um, together here with the Ukrainian team we have Mika, Xenia and uh, promotional, how could I call you, manager? Well, you could call me by my name, my name is Sasha. <laughs> 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 uh, last year you were handing out footballs. Right, but you don't remember my name, you just won a few footballs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I was nice enough to give this guy a few footballs and this is the thanks I get. So what are you doing to this year to promote these girls? Um, well, look at them, I mean, there's not much you can already do. I mean, you have two of the most talented individuals individuals that I've ever met in my life and uh, to see them come together as one in one unique message that they're trying to send and like I uh, like using uh, what Ksenia is talking about that the story is very concrete it's about a specific person but it's also universal. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting for the first time in the history of Eurovision we have sand drawing yes, and we yes. can see it on the LED screen. Yes. What is the idea behind the sand drawing? Uh, when I um, sitting at home, I'm thinking what I have to, what it will be in the, on the stage. I uh, know Angel. It's uh, like um, it's not. Ruski. Um, uh, it doesn't mean. Банально очень, просто как-то не хочется одеться а, в белое и чтобы возле меня бегали ангелы. То есть мне хотелось, чтобы как-то передать эту историю глубоко. I felt it would be too banal if we just uh, ran out on the stage with a bunch of people dressed as angels and uh, that would really be cheesy and that would not, absolutely not transfer to the audience and the audience would not like that because Eurovision audience is a sophisticated audience mm -hmm. so we couldn't just do that um, and obviously the message of the song wouldn't be transparent mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be clear to the audience so it, it, took, it took work. Okay. И я э, в этот момент начала э, искать у, у нас в Украине тех людей, кто, э, может, кто более популярны именно э, в точности и передавании истории. И э, я вспомнила э, о Ксении, которая просто невероятно умеет передавать истории через песок, про войну, про другие трогательные темы, про детей. И, конечно же, я, когда мы все реально поняли, что это у нас будет маленький ключик, лучший ключик для того, чтобы передать мою песню, мы отослали песню с, э, о Ксении. Realized that the angel has won. Uh, we started looking for a way to uh, to tell the story. What would be the best way to put it on the stage and make it a TV product? And to tell the story and not to be cheesy, really needed somebody who's got such a special talent like Senior uh, to uh, make the story come to life and help the song. So when uh, we thought about all of this and we thought about who else could tell a story better. We reached out, we sent her our song with uh, um, all of the uh, things that we wanted to, uh, to attach to it and then after that Ksenia has sent us her, her sketches and uh, you know, it, it was on and from the day one it was clear that the girls have so much in common, they both uh, possess uh, the knowledge of the message and it really matters to them deeply so it was, it was a no-brainer that from the first day it really started clicking, it really started working well. Okay. Did the girls know each other before? No, just on television. Yeah. 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 Y
But then uh, sand drawing is a very sophisticated work of art. Where, where did you learn that? Um, I learned it by myself and I do believe that everybody who wants to do it must learn without any teachers and without any programs because only my own images, only my own experience. My experience was not very easy because when I started I have lost my, all my business. I was a publisher of a magazine and my magazine was bankrupted and um, it was so unpleasant. And I had a very little child who was a toddler and um, it was depression and that's why I started to, without any hopes actually. And in three months I came to Ukraine Got Talent and in six months I won. Without any hopes from, from the very beginning, I just wanted to go there to, to relax because I had a terrible depression. That's why it was absolutely accidentally when like I started. It's like a fairy tale. It's like a yes, fairy tale. Really, it's yes, really, yes. Nice story. Like it, but it's, it's true. true. It's a beautiful story, yeah. Yes. And this story, which was created for Mika's song, with a, Sasha said in the beginning that it's at the same time abstract and at the same time it is exact. I said at the press conference that uh, this is a story of my children and of Mika's children. Uh, I have 40, 44, 44, 45 plus my son. And everybody loves Mika and said to say hello to her. We don't believe you're working with her. Wow, yeah. please, uh, right. can she sign something? And uh, mm, this is a story devoted to each of us, but to make the world. Well, when I had to visit in your Of your course, journey. I think you must. <laughs> when we we'll back from the Of course. <laughs> When did you learn the sand drawings? I did myself. I when, when, when my did husband has shown something in the internet, something just with sand. And we were two years ago. And wow, we were, we were just two years, really. I, I, just, no, I think it is mine, physically it is my material. And, uh, but I have an education of an artist, I have two educations. Right. <laughs> First education is like it's talent. It's just talent. Thank you. And the second education is uh, graphics. And I'm, a, uh, I'm an illustrator of the books, but never a right. Thank you. Coming it's back really to, right. to your music, you yes. have a single called Anamalia. Yes, it belongs. Anamalia! I think it was the number one hit. I think, no? Yes, that for me, yeah, it was a really big hit in Russia, in Ukraine, of course. Yeah. So, how is the musical industry in Ukraine? Oh. It's a, it's a big industry, in, industry now. Uh, a lot of good singer, uh, which uh, someone you can you saw in the Eurovision, Anna Lorek, Serdutska, Ruslana, of course, Svetlana Svetlana right? Lovada. Yes, Svetlana Lobada. It's uh, the best one. Um, and you? And you, of course. <laughs> It's it's very I, I can't. Uh, well, yes, you yes, are. <laughs> did, did you meet any of the previous entrants from the Eurovision of Ukraine, and did they, did they tell you how you should go into yeah, this? Yeah, I met Ruslana in the big concert, and when uh, some artists say Mika, good luck and goodbye for Eurovision, and she said just you have to Okay, um, I was fortunate enough to have all these people, all the former contestants like Alosha, like Ruslana, come to the uh, main square, the Maidan, uh, mm -hmm. on the night that um, we were celebrating is Easter and it was a farewell concert on the main square of our country and we had millions, well not millions, hundreds of thousands of people there uh, saying farewell, uh, saying goodbye and wishing good luck and all these people who I've met from former contests, including Ruslana, especially Ruslana, they said that you have to fight for it and you have to just grab it and rip the hearts up. Wow, yes, wow. Really, what a yeah. great message. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you made friends with any of the other Eurovision performers this year? I know uh, Austrian girl, lovely girl Nadine. Uh, of course I know um, Amuri Vasily from France. He was in, in Kiev. Uh, I saw blue, of course. Uh, they are, uh, they was, uh, they were uh, in the um, square, our square in my concert. Um, Moldova, Zdobshizdu, Malta, Glen, uh, Armenia, the girl, boom boom, chaka chaka, ya Emi. Yes, it's it's wow. really a great. Yes, you you great. It's it's really great people, very open and. And I just would like to say good luck, everyone. You are very, very young for the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Why? <What>? Why? <laughs> no, that's, 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 that's it's nothing bad about that. It's, I'm just 25, sorry. Uh, no, no, because I would like to know what you know about the Eurovision Song Contest. How far are your memories back? Do you have any any history memory of, of Eurovision? Yes, uh, I love Celine Dion. 
Oh. I saw her performs in on the revision stage. I really love her. And I just I would like to say for all people who see uh, right now us and say we are uh, young, we are modern, we have we with uh, open mind, but we would like to open you your revision for young people. Mm -hmm. It's a, like will be new story in your revision contest. It's why. I'm Fantastic. here. I'm just can I add because I'm also a fan of Eurovision. <laughs> uh, since my childhood, I think since since five, when my father first did turn down TV, and this five year old, oh no, it's Eurovision! This country, I know this country. Wow, it's amazing. And I I think I remember from my five years old. But my favorite one is Maria Sharapovich. Yes, Monica. she was great. Monica. Monica. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, although. I also love Sasha Rebak and he's my, I can say, friend because he went to uh, meet a winner of Ukraine Got Talent yeah. and uh, he said that he was uh, voting for me and he liked Sand Art. <laughs> um, and Ruslan, of course, uh, because uh, she's a person. When I met Ruslan, when, when you yeah. won the contest in Ukraine, uh, she said she was the only person who signed the list for my uh, orphanage and said, Immediately, what do they need? What to bring? <laughs> it was so pleasant. That's why. Oh, I nice, also so nice. Yeah. But we wouldn't let you go, of course, with giving us a bit of your song. Can you yeah. sing a bit of it? Yes, of course. Thank you. Just one because we already okay. had somebody come in. Mm -hmm. We are birds who fly so high, and we are falling down. When I dream of you, my dream is so fearless. We are people of the planet. We live human lives. Swearing danger, we are crystal white, crystal white. Thank you very much.